You can please go ahead with your questions so that Ashwin can answer for that. Uh, so my exit criteria is uh, I keep to my gain percentage from 7% to 10%. And uh, whenever the stock, uh, the, the profit percentage drops from 7 to 5, I exit immediately. I don't wait for it to regain. And uh, options, depending upon my, basically, uh, how the market is. So if I think the call can, if I think the call can prolong and I can wait, then I will definitely wait on the options. Uh, I usually buy options. I don't try to get puts uh, unless it's an ER where I put a, where I play a double game, playing puts and calls, buying puts and calls. Uh, long as you can unmute and ask. Can someone please unmute now and check? Uh, hi, uh, my name is Kiran. Yeah, unmute, unmute is working. I have a question. How do you hi, find? Uh, yeah, hi. How do you find uh, stocks or options? You know, how do you find which ones are best to buy at what time? Is there any criteria that you look for it? Uh, yes, I look for a certain criteria. Um, if the stock is up like more than 2%, 3% in a week, and it is continuously going up, that's a criteria which I follow to invest. Uh, like, for example, JP Morgan. JP Morgan, I, uh, when I bought it, was at about 126 and it was gradually increasing 2 or 3%, then uh, till 129. Then after ER, it touched 136, and I sold it at that point. So that's the criteria I, I try to follow. Uh, I hope this answers your question. Uh, yes. So um, is there any, like, uh, any kind of a scanner that you use to find which are trending stocks like that? Uh, or do you have some uh, kind of a specific watch list that you... Keep looking at it. How does? How I, do you find? I kind. I keep a watch list of. Uh, generally, what I do is before the market or uh, previous night, I generally look into the market movers, which Yahoo Finance provides. So and then I check. Uh, I say do I do my due diligence and find if it's uh, worth. Uh, I mean, if it's if it will climb or if it will decline. So then I make a guess and invest. I hope this did, did it answer your question. Uh, yes. So you mentioned typically like uh, you watch it closely more for a week like if it's trending like every day 2% or so then you will try to buy and then hopefully your holding pattern will be like a, a 4 weeks time frame for options or how long you will buy an option. So depends upon the price. So mm -hmm. for example some stocks like uh, OPK this is a stock which I bought options when it when the stock was at one dollar forty five cents mm -hmm. so I bought uh, three contracts at five cents a contract and now it is uh, the stock price is almost one dollar uh, I bought two dollar calls actually now the stock price is almost one point eight five and it has been gradually increasing for the past uh, week and they and they beat the year actually so now the call price is almost like fifteen cents a contract. Mm -hmm. I almost uh, tripled my investment already. And at what point you will try to exit out of the option position? Uh, maybe like, you know, once you get a double or triple or what is your exit criteria? So generally, example, uh, yeah, yes, please, go please, go ahead, please go ahead. Yeah, uh, what I would like to add is, say, for example, based on the trending nature of the stock for the past week, you may buy it, right? But sometimes the following week, it may not be able to continue that kind of uh, upward movement based on the market condition or some external factors, right? So what are the exit criteria that you might be looking once you enter into your new position? So generally, I look for 20% profit in a contract. Okay. And if I feel the contract, if, the, if I feel the stock will still go up, I hold it. And I keep a stop profit percentage, like for example, it went up 30% and then it fell back. It fell back. I keep a trading stop loss at 10% profits. Mm -hmm. so, but, uh, sometimes what happens is that after the close and there's some news comes up and the stock, the option price might fall. So at that point, I, I generally exit at whatever price it is. 
but generally i keep a, a stop person a profit percentage at 10% for options okay did it answer your question yes 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 yeah thank you very much thank you thank you yeah, for the no permission okay ashut Hey, did, did you did yeah, you share hi. the original data? Sorry, I joined a little late. Yes, sir. Before you were having the Q&A, you know. I'm sorry. Can you repeat? I mean, did you share the original intent of the meeting that you wanted to show something? Like, is that over or is it? Just... No, no, I didn't show anything. The meeting is about questions and strategies on how I trade, right? Oh, okay. So did you did you? Hello, mummy. Good afternoon. Did you get sixty-seven percent or something like that? Yeah, I mean that's that's the question on how I did it. Right? Oh, like I am discussing on how I did it. So if you ask, I have any questions on how I did it? I can explain it. I don't have any data to show. I I thought you are going to show that uh, how you did it. Okay, that's. Fine. Hi, Shant. Uh, this is Santosh. Uh, thanks for the Hi. session. So my question is: Do you you said the stock price price went from one point five dollars to one point eight dollars, right? So usually, do you trade the stocks? Like, is there any price limit on the stocks that you trade, or uh, like, do they come under small cap, or like, what is the criteria that you select that selected that stock? Like you said, two to three percentage, but there might be cases like recently some of the stocks are falling. So how do you uh, select that stock? I just want to understand. Thank you. Yeah, so I couldn't actually catch your question. Is it okay to repeat it again? So recently, uh, recently there have been many stocks that are falling, but previously they were rising. So how do you exactly see that this is the stock that you need to choose? Like you selected a stock, the the reason behind in selecting that stock. How do you select that? Like what is the criteria? So. Uh, like i said already uh, if it rises like continuously 2 or 3% um, in like in a week or so then i select it. but as you are right it might fall again so i keep a stop uh, stop loss at 5% and uh, for a second part of your question some stock rises and it fell down again so if i enter that stock uh like i said i keep a stop profit percentage at like 1 or 2 percent ashwatha uh, can you hear me this is ashwin here yes uh, hi yeah, ashwatha question what is your age of, when, you know what is the point of time of entry what makes you to feel that that you should enter to the stock uh, the data basically present like for example uh, charles swab had lots of inside buy so i entered that stock at uh, $50 as uh, the price was around 50 dollars and uh, at the time of year actually the stock fell and then rose back but i sold it off earlier in block point of entry is generally based on data or proceedings like uh, like if the year is going to be passed or something if i feel like that i enter um, will it answer your question yeah it does actually so so what is that data that you think uh, makes you feel comfortable so mainly is i think on insider buys and oh, okay. uh, that's uh, one main criteria i follow go oh, insider buys okay yeah. so basically i'll answer this uh, okay ashwin if you're okay so basically yeah, the way yeah. that the data uh, this is raj here so i usually look into the data so but i also know uh, usually i'll take two scenarios first of all we will see how many institutions any recent transactions so any scc 13 dg transaction if it includes insider transaction that means institutions are buying along with insiders are buying so that means something is coming up in that stock right so basically that's where where we see the chart also i see the chart also and i will enter actually when it is comes to the sub resistance level like you know the down the downside level of it usually i enter there and then when it uh, comes to the resistance like uh, when it goes up so it has a resistance i will exit there because i don't want again to come it back uh, so usually sometimes it goes up but usually i'll exit there that point actually is it is that okay yeah that is okay uh, raj really appreciate it so basically you are looking at the the scc the reporting and also you are looking if there is any inside bias uh, insiders buying up along with the uh, institution bias that Correct. is a motivation that you, you get an idea that there is a there is a chance that it can go up yeah it eventually will not go up uh, 
uh, you know in the same day or something for example you just need to take this as a reference only okay there are a lot of failures like for example if, I, if you take my scenario i failed a lot like um, like blindly following uh, some other uh, you know institutions on for example afm cpng psi blah 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 there will be a lot of nonsense okay so basically if you are starting to build your portfolio i would rather recommend like you know just to go with the uh, you know uh, companies which are solid companies like apple uh, apple microsoft and all you will see the returns less okay but eventually you will end up in making profits only not in losses right so later on once you feel comfortable then you can actually uh, change your strategy of the game plan so yeah. eventually my thing is i pre- when i started like i started in 2016 i grown up like i i like i bought a applet like 65 or 70 like uh, yeah after split it before split it was very cheap so i bought at the time and i sold it at very high price so then later on i try to play growing my portfolio so i you know diverted my path and eventually i went into a lot of losses but later on once i started i accumul- you know checking doing my own dd of you know checking the institutions how many institutions are there and all so you can slowly build that got it bas uh, thank you yeah. thank you so i see some question from sudhir rawal right uh, uh, sudhir i can answer that actually uh, yeah i think we can also give to Ash- ashwant okay uh, ashwant will you uh, there is a question uh, can you take a look into that yes yeah, sure answer so sudhir par uh, like in order to write like uh, yeah the text us are already has increased so eventually uh, so because of apple earnings it got a boost right so there is no or like uh, uh, the fundamentals have not changed yet you know the inflation remains same uh, you know we, you you have like ppi coming in cpi coming in everything seems to be lined up and other big tech earnings coming in so apple is the one that lifted all the market up on friday uh, there is no other special news okay if let's say for example the inflation will remain high then fed will be obviously will uh, you know start uh, you know if the inflation comes cool down then fed you, we don't know if fed will start increasing or not so basically if market is up straight away for three days what i will do is i will eventually hold on by keeping into any other things because any stock that goes up like three four days high it eventually comes down it cools down so once it cools down you can enter actually at that time instead of entering at a high price and, uh, for monday i am guessing there might be a pullback just because apple earnings boosted the market uh, there might be a pullback not sure so. so i will wait till at least uh, the market open and see how it is going and then i will decide if i need to buy now or i'll buy later but as uh, as naka sir agra ji said um, if it goes up continuously like um, boosting up 10% 15% it might come down uh, i hope this answers your question today next month we have one more question from win if option goes in red you wait till how long i mean what is the risk you what is the loss risk you see in percentage so, um, generally i keep a stop loss of 20 to 50 percent depending upon the option i buy so if it goes in run and if i like in a day in overnight it loses 80 percent of its value then i generally hold it till uh, the option expires if it like loses 40 percent then i'll sell it off immediately Uh, not wait until or uh, not wait if it goes up or go down instead of the video to like open yeah so this is the most general question i think everyone will have in options so including myself i started recently and i lost again and i'm also so usually whenever your option is in red like usually it's 30% uh, 
more option strategies will expire if the options went into 30%. But, but for example, let's say Tesla or something, you can actually wait if you have a long leap, right? Like, for example, let's say you have taken until May 25th, 27, Tesla 170 call. You have time. So, in, so Tesla, for example, it may run the same way. For example, if it goes up, it goes 10 points or 15 uh, fifteen dollars up okay and when it comes down it will comes the same way so instead of selling it okay i would prefer waiting it okay because uh, uh tesla will do but for example let's say apple microsoft this will eventually go four five dollars up but krishna is the nice person who gives the options like whenever to take and to exit usually we lost in spy for 18 calls but eventually uh you know the big companies will come back in options like say for example everyone thought on friday 55 call i think ashwin also has taken that ashwant okay but eventually everyone thought it's you know it will be uh premiums will get burned both the sides but you know once the market is open up it went close at 58 so just give some time uh I would say that, but if you are 80 or 90 percent up, you know, it eventually doesn't make any sense selling that, you know, if something happens, the market will boost it again, then your options will come back again. So that's the way I am, uh, you know, I do the options actually. So one more stop, one more where you can guys, like everyone can see good returns is BIOS. So BIOS last year, it was beaten heavily. This year, buyers are performing very well, like the Veno is suggesting nice buyers, for example, VKTX, right? Everyone, I think in the group got around like 10 or 11, and everyone thought then it went to 8, uh, everyone thought of selling it. But Venu was keep on telling, you know, keep it, you know, it should have a good data that is coming in, and eventually boosted to 20 somewhere, like. So, buyers, if you... Yeah, it will require a lot of patience. If you stay patient, it will eventually pay back, actually. So, for example, VKTX paid me very well, uh, which I recover, uh, which my entire losses of SI was recovered in VKTX. Uh, yeah, that's about the bio. So, basically, you also need to do your own DD on bios because the cash equivalent, uh, how much uh, is the cash that is there with the company. So, Venu will give nice insists on bios, actually. So I will. Uh, so if you guys are okay, I will suggest one more strategy, which is covered calls. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you guys do covered calls. Uh, is there anyone who do covered calls here? Yeah, I do. This is Sanjeev. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it pays. Uh, if uh, uh, you know, if you are not uh, more into the markets, you can place a covered card, uh, covered call, and you can get that uh, premium how much ever you want. Then. Yeah, no, That's but there is there is a different right. There is a naked covered call and uh, um uh, that, that is there, right? Sorry, covered call means you need to have a stock and do it. Okay, but uh, there stocks. are naked calls also there, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah wh why are you telling that? So basically, for example, let's say B buffer, right? It eventually will stay in the range only. Okay. Or ENPH. Okay. For example, ENPH, right? Uh, mm -hmm. the what the ceo told for example the next two three quarters there will not be much movement in the stocks and they will be seeing the wins okay so eventually what i do is i'll make a stock so i'll be trying to collect that premium every yeah, month so for example so, Baba, Baba ji, kitni der ke liye jar? Just for the last time you changed okay uh -huh. wait well, yeah who are not talking can you please move? yeah so Ganesh, do you uh, Ganesh and do you want example of covered call? He's uh, also the same example of covered call. So let's say a covered call means you need to have hundred stocks. Okay, uh, even though I started it recently, which I see some good gains. Uh, uh, so basically, if you take hundred stocks, okay, for example, I have taken on MCRB. Okay, I take next. So I kept a uh, covered call when it is six forty four. That will go to seven dollars five cents uh, in May twenty fifth. Okay, it, but eventually it fall down. So basically, you will get that premium right away. Uh, the expiry date, if your option, if your stock price is above seven point five, 
okay he will pay how much our uh, 7.5 to you and also the premium you can keep it with you okay if the stock price is not going beyond 7.5 on that date which you kept an expiry you can keep your stocks with you and also you will get your premium with you okay so but the negative side of it is let's say your stock went to 11 dollars on that expiry okay so you will lose that how much is the difference between 7.5 to 11 okay that's the negative but the positive side of it is you will eventually trying to collect the premium every like i usually collect for every 3 years on bank 3 uh, weeks on bank of america so there is nice youtube video also uh, uh, that you can look into that covered calls there is something called sell put is also there right they can they can do it right yeah yeah that that are also can do it Mm. Can you check the blood pressure? See, if you are covered call means you have to be bearish, right? Then it's called the covered calls. Pass on the message. Correct. If you are bullish, yeah, you can do a sell put. Sell put. It was one thirty two. Now it's one fifty over ninety four. So considering the market, right? Yeah. It's volatility, right? Like one day it's yeah, going up. Last three weeks, right? Like it goes three point ten points up, yeah. but eventually fall down. Then yeah. again, it will be the same range. So at that time, uh, that I used to do covered calls. Known for doing drugs. Because then the market is not going in any direction, right? He's not diabetic. He said he's not diabetic and does not take insulin and wants to keep IV oh, fluids so he doesn't have. Someone to is talking. Chest hurts too much. I said that's fine. Do you see the boots up to him if he wants to eat or not? Yeah. <laughs> can you can you show like uh, you know what are the uh, you know um, stocks that you have taken to grow your portfolio? Yeah, admin sir, can can you mute others? Those who are talking. I'm sorry, repeat. Yes. Uh, yes sir, can yes, you sir. show what are the stocks that you have taken to increase your portfolio from five thousand to nine thousand? Uh, I didn't actually plan for that. Uh, I'm actually on my mobile. Oh okay. But I do have a list of what I. You got CPR for a little bit. That's why it's just probably. My advantage uh, is clear or I'm sorry. No, I give like no chance. Uh, I'm sorry if I didn't answer one of your questions. This is my first session again. Actually, think of it. So my major gainers were uh, CDTX and uh, Coin. I made roughly thirty percent gains on both. I guess this stuff is. I earned actually thirty percent on both of those during the March second week when the financial institutions were hit. Is as small as Mr. said. Make sure there are more hits than misses. That's actually right. Uh, you know, like we get a um. I mean, the things I be your options channel. Uh, at here uh, we get alert right from whom we'll get the alert. I don't think so. Krishna is part of this call. Usually, Krishna not, will not give. Not Krishna. The other one at at here and we get calls right. Krishna is the one who tells, and also Danu, who is the one who tells, and uh, sometimes Venu suggests uh, calls on bios. Okay. No, no, and, no, no, no. Uh, no. Abhinash is the in the in the alert. Abhinash is the person. Abhinash, yes. Okay. Is he there? Is he here? The call? No, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Uh, hey, uh, this is Prasad. Uh, my screen name is Small Investor. Uh, Hi. If you don't mind, I can say a few words. Okay. Uh, yeah. Somebody asked uh, the stocks, right? What stocks is in the portfolio? So I was reading this book that was suggested in the uh, TS Group. Um, th- there are interesting lines in there. It says that you know, don't don't bog down by the you know big stacks or stocks or big boys in the stocks, right? It's all about momentum, right? Uh, sometimes, like for example, now somebody said biotech, right? Biotech is doing good. So uh, it's all about um, having a strategy that's that's my personal opinion as well my personal experience as well so don't get blindsided by just the um, particular stock right it might have momentum um, let's say you there are, there are two ways one way is like people try to go wait for the stock to go down and try to enter at the bottom so that they get maximum profits right that strategy sometimes works sometimes it doesn't work for, work for me what that book says is you know be on the momentum like now wait for the stocks that are going up right and catch on 
on on a certain point like for example let's say uh, it's already run 10% right and you see that that's a good stock and it's 3 days it's going good right it's you still have time there because 3 days it's going good means the fundamentals may be good there is some data coming in there is some um, you know products coming up whatever it could be like that stock may go up to like like let's say another 10% right it's always okay to catch up at 5% or 10% so you still have 10% upside right but again uh, have a stop loss have your own uh, own you know strategy when to exit and uh, when to you know th- it's all about your hitting the buy button and sell button right and having the stop loss that's uh, that's about the stocks right now which stock to pick i would actually like to add more points here So, uh, and actually, you can actually keep a stock uh, profit percentage also. And so, it will help you grow your stocks and uh, you won't lose all your money in just one day. There's some bad news coming in. So, you can actually trim some positions where you reach some percent profit percentage. Uh, that actually will help you very much. Um, yeah, again, uh, like the options is like a zero-sum game. there is some game in the sense let's say you you i mean like i i was telling about hits and misses right what i mean is like you know you gains and losses so it's all zero sum game so you you might win you might gain in three stocks and you might lose in five stocks so net net it's a loss but if you are gaining in uh, let's say eight stocks or 10 stocks and you are losing in three stocks it's it's a profit it's a win for you So always options is zero sum game. Hey Ashwant, uh, my name is Pawan. I have a small Hi. question. Yeah, yeah. So you just uh, talked about the coward call, right? I have a question on that. So let's say Actually, I am uh, not the it, person who spoke about coward call. That is Nagaraj. Nagaraj, yeah. yeah. Hey Nagaraj, uh, regarding that coward call, if <laughs> I uh, if I have Apple hundred uh, stocks, let's say. and mm-hmm. i want to purchase a 175 uh, sell call for the next week and i'll uh-huh. collect the premium right uh-huh. so after the expiry if the app is trading at 180 dollars so what will happen to my call so uh, can you explain me about that so do we oh, have to uh, pay no no your premium will stay with you okay okay and that 175 so you maybe you bought at like for example 173 right mm mm-hmm. he will pay 175 and take that away because you kept the sell to open at 175 yes the break even will be there for example the premium that you are collecting will be the break even okay yeah he will pay that and you will keep eventually you will ended up in profit only okay but the thing is you will miss some small gain let's say for example 180 so you collected 177.5 per stock along with premium you kept that okay but that 2.5 dollars you will lose okay but eventually you will ended up in profit only but say for, let's say for example if it goes to 190 that's where where you miss more gains but yeah. it's okay like uh, because you are getting the stock you are getting the profit how much ever yeah. you got for the purchase price but let's say for example if it stayed at 174.99 For example, nine seven. Mm-hmm. You will stock will be with you along with your premium also will be with you. Yeah, what I observed recently is I traded a stock uh, called IBRX. So I have three hundred stocks or something like that. So I I took covered call uh, for two point five or three something. <coughs> I collected the premium, mm-hmm. but the stock is uh, went up like recently to until four five right. Yes. So the covered call which I took was still on my profile, and it is the value of it is increasing too. So what will happen at the end of the day after expire? So at the end of the day, you will be. I think you will keep at three point five something, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So that time, what they will do is they will pay that three point five, and they will take away that from you, that stocks from you. Okay, so but the covered call which I which which we took, if that increases, our uh, we we don't have to pay that extra amount that was increased, right? No, no, you don't need to pay. Basically, you are selling them. Someone like in options is buying that covered call from you. Okay. Hmm. 
so that okay. means your premium will be with you only thing is you kept a 3.5 lakhs ib carry closes at 6 okay yeah so you sell the uh, basically it's 6 but you kept at 3.5 you will be selling that actually at 3.5 oh, okay. makes sense so yeah the difference uh, yeah go ahead. go ahead yeah so the difference is like you know uh, in this covered calls you need to have a stock and then uh, you are selling it so you get the premium up front correct right whereas naked calls you don't need to have a stock and you are buying the premium and you are giving the money back to whoever is selling it the difference is that okay. so uh, in the covered calls if if you are selling the uh, calls you get let's say the premium is let's say you are saying 0.19 and if somebody is buying one call so you get 190 dollars up front in your account if you look at your account the account is plus 190 and then as long as as long as it's an other side like as long as the stock is going down you you keep you get to keep that 190 uh, as long as the stock is going down but as as soon as the stock goes up then that whatever rule nagra just said that that will kick in and then the money will be you know you need to pay back that uh, to the other person right so it is into the profit so you need to pay back that money so your money your account will be debited like minus whatever is the call so you lose the money So it's a, it's a exactly opposite of naked calls yeah the the no. thing another thing that you can do with covered call is once you collect the premium right you can invest the premium to buy any stock or else uh, to increase because you are getting the premium right away yeah yeah thank you i got it so that strategy will work mostly on the stocks like bank of america i see because it will be trading in the same uh, range like you know 25 to 35 so basically you will be collecting the premiums every 3 weeks right for example let's say i have 100 calls of bank of america like that means one contract right usually mm-hmm. i collect like you know uh, uh, 80 or 70 dollars per month as a premium and eventually like for example 12 into 80 right so 1000 dollars per year i am getting for 100 stocks of buffer right yeah so usually how long you keep this covered call uh, uh, duration i mean length usually usually so i usually see uh, kept uh, i'll keep the third week of every month because that's where more volatility and more implied in the delta everything comes up like more volatility will be there in the markets usually generally every experts recommend the third week will be most trading week because it's end of the month right so it's where where the every uh, like every stock will be more volatility and all so that's where where more buyers sellers will come into picture mm-hmm. but another thing is you also can check another example of a covered call uh, is dividends for example let's say uh, apple announced a dividends right okay you you kept a covered call for 185 okay you perfectly will know apple will not go beyond 185 okay and i kept a covered call for example i will be getting the premium along with the dividend okay that apple okay. pays on that day so eventually you are getting two profits one is premium and one is dividend yep you're right yeah but there will be a negative side of it when your stock moves up okay okay thank you narayan oh, i see one more question so tax call for example i buy 100 and it no actually someone asked ganesh and right how dca works for example i buy 500 amd at 85 now the stock goes to 80 now i buy another 500 i sell the stocks at 84 is there a wash sale no because you are you are not selling and buying right again because you are buying to average it and you are selling at 84 right yeah so basically that will not be a wash sale okay because you are averaging it and selling it but again if you buy it then it will be a uh, wash sale 
in a month i'm dropping off guys uh, let me know if you need anything thank you. thank you yeah thank you Bye. any other questions thank you everyone for joining thank you ashwat for your thank time you.